Hi there! Today I would like to talk to you about playing. Because in Norwegian there are two words for playing and two words for game. Um, for instance, if I would like to say to play a game, then I can say it in two ways. Å leke en lek. Or, å spille et spill. <clears throat> so if I want to say, I play a game, I will, will either say, Jeg leker en lek. Or, Jeg spiller et spill. So, how do you know when to use each of them? As a general rule, general rule, remember that å leke is more for fun and it's more mostly used for kids. So the most important thing is to have fun, it's not to win and sometimes there aren't actually any ways to win, you just play. <laughs> well, å spille, um, of course you want to have fun but the fun is in the um, attempt to win, okay? There is a possibility to win and you want to win. Uh, so I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to start with the red ones. Åleke. So the first one is jämsel. Jämsel. Åleke jämsel. It means to play hide and seek. Uh, of course, the goal is not to be found very quickly, but nobody wins it. Nobody actually wins it. Per perhaps the last person who who is haven't who hasn't been found, but yeah, it's just for fun. Um, then you have system, system, which is a game that has several names in Norwegian. Uh, I think in English it's called tag. It's when you have to touch somebody. Uh, yes, there is one peep, one person who has it. Uh, that person has to touch other people, and the first person he touches is the one who has to continue trying to get other people. Okay, <laughs> I hope that's clear. Um, so there are several words for that. The a most common word, or the one that is mostly written, is system. In my dialect, I say ticken. There, ticken. And then some people call it harn. Harn. Jeg harn means I have it. I have it. Uh, so when you touch the person, you either... Uh, when when uh, I played it, I said ticken. When I touched the person, and in other areas in Norway, you would say uh, harn or do harn. It means you have it. You have to continue touching other people. <laughs> um, and then you have a game called Steve Hex. Steve Hex. Stiff Witch, literally. And it's a game that is a little bit similar to Sistan, but here the person has it all the time. Uh, he has to touch the most people uh, possible and then every person he touches he has to stand still and he can't move before somebody, until somebody um, uh, before somebody crawls be um, between their legs okay then they are free uh, same thing there aren't actually no, any winner here in this game and then you also have playing with dolls, playing with cars, playing with the uh, Lego. Lego. Uh, Lego is a kind of uh, it's the name of a brand for uh, bricks that you can use to to build houses, build cars, build whatever you want with. Dukir, uh, dukir means dolls. Same thing. No winner, <laughs> it's just for fun. So maybe a sentence that will help you remember the difference is uh, when I was little uh, and I wanted to go out and play with my friends, I came over to their place or I called them and I said uh, It's written here Vill du være med ut og leke? 
Vill du vara med ut och leka? Do you want to come out and play? And then what I got in my teens, playing was not very cool anymore. So I dropped the last part. And it became, vill du vara med ut? Vill du vara med ut? You want to come out. <laughs> Or vill du vara med ut och finna på något? Finna på något, to figure out something, or liter yeah, literally, finna på något, it means figure out something. Um, the meaning is, do you want to f figure out something that we can do? Um, so, then we're going to go over to the green examples for att spille ett spill. For instance, å spille schack. Och spille schack to play chess. Och spille biljard. Och spille biljard to play pool. Och spille bowling. Och spille bowling to play bowling. Or you can say och bowla. Vill du vara med och bowla? Och spille fotboll. Och spille basket. Or och spille basketball. Okay, all kinds of sports where there are um, there is a team or one person playing against another person, and the goal is to win. Okay, I hope this helped you <laughs> figure out the difference between the two. Maybe another thing that could help you. Yes, the last question I would like to ask you is. If you have to choose between Live är en lek and Live är ett spill. Both means um, life is a game. Which one would you choose and why? <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if you can if you get if you get the difference of the two. Okay, one of them, them is more positive, in my opinion, than the other one. So I would like to hear from you. Är livet ett spill? Eller en lek? Is life ett spill? Or en lek? Thank you for watching. I hope this was useful for you. Uh, if you liked it, please show it by liking it. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment field. Below. Peace, Nakis.